against Leon, and then Kamaro versus Hamza was the fight before that. Kamaro Usman is a gangster. We always knew he was a gangster. We always knew he was. But for him to take that fight on short notice, go the distance with Chimaev, and some people were saying, I mean, that first round was definitely 10-8. Mm-hmm. But pretend it wasn't. And then Kamaro went, you could give him the next two rounds, possibly, right? Ish, maybe. He could have won that fight. Crazy. I, I mean, thought he, that, uh, uh, I thought that, I thought that, Usman actually like outpaced Chimaev. Like For sure, he, he kind of broke him. But Chimaev like stole each round with the takedowns right at the end of the rounds. Yeah, yeah, definitely could give him that. Yeah, it's crazy. Kamaru was gassed, but he was just still. It was his will. He was going off will in that. That was it was gangster. How jacked he was at one eighty five, and that's how I'd look at one forty five. Huh? Hamza Jokes. had the back or the back with both hooks in like a minute into the fight. <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was like a minute. Yeah. And down. then Kamaru survived that. Like, fucking animal, gangster. dude. G- g- gangster. And then Kamzat, everyone's hoping he gets on the mic and says, oh, fuck. I kill anybody. anybody. But then he's like, I don't care about the title. I just want to make money. Didn't call out Paulo Costa. No. Didn't call out Sean Strickland. That is your time to shine in that moment to build your next fight give the ufc some sound bits give the ufc some promo who do you want next who are the fans going to talk about for the next week and doesn't take that opportunity then i saw on i think it was on twitter people said that you don't realize what people on that side of the country are going through with this war shit like he could just feel so like just like well i remember after i fought peter it was a hard fight and I just wasn't. I didn't call out anybody. I was like, oh, he just did, tired. Did Tom's not like, call anybody after the Gilbert fight? Was he? How was he? I think he was humbled again. He was a little bit more quiet like that. But all that shit going on on that side yeah. of the country. If that's a lot going on a lot closer than you, and you're constantly Oof. seeing videos of kids dying and all this war, it's like that's the last <sighs> thing you're probably thinking about over there. You just probably don't even want to fight. Like, fuck. <sighs> yeah, that's. I mean, I right when I see that stuff on Twitter, I close all my apps. I'm like, I can't even, oh, oh I just don't even like you. being in that. It's like, I can't do anything right now mm-hmm. for it. So it's like, just try not to even think about it. But then also I'm like, well, what if it was that Hamza and Strickland fight? They sparred. They know they felt each other before. But everyone I've talked to, even like Shmo and the people, they said Hamza kind of beat up Strickland in the room. But he, they, prob- and sp- they sparring probably didn't go five fives in well, a row. Sparring and fighting, or <laughs> they might as well be. Two different sports, in a sense. Literally, they're like sparring is just not a fight in that moment. The light is just yeah, they're different. They really are. They freaking really are, dude. And I've seen that a lot with you too. There's, I mean, there's people. Well, it's hard with you too because you're a KO artist, so you can't KO your sparring partners. So you're pulling shots, and that the maybe the sparring partner doesn't respect your punches as much. But then in a real fight, one shot in your face first, you know. Yeah. What do you think about and sparring? And just build up Ezra? and 